Welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mobs tutorials. Today we're going to be covering particles. Um, this one's a pretty, uh, this is a hard one to cover actually because it's probably the most versatile, um, like, thing you can do with the Mythic Mobs plugin. So, you're going to hear me say it a lot. Read the manual. Yes, like, seriously. Read the manual. It's going to have a lot of information that I cannot cover in this tutorial alone, let alone probably like 10 other tutorials. So. Uh, it's going to be very important to check back with that often, especially because if you're running different game modes, uh, particle main names may differ, same with their availability. Now, um, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and get started, but uh, I've got some tips that I can at least give as we get going. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing you want, as always, is your mob here. I'm not making any crazy skills, so I'm not going to be focusing on that right now. First, we're going to start off with how to start it off. You're going to want to type in effect and then particle. Now, there's a lot of different things you can do here. There's particle line, particle sphere, particle box, particles, and particle ring. There's, uh, there's just, there's so much to do, uh, I can't really, I can't really tell you how to do any specific thing because there's so much you can do that you really just kind of have to look at it. So here we're going to go ahead and just, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just not save this game. We're going to spawn in my boy here and spawn PhD Particles. Yeah, this is a, this is a big name guy here. So he knows what's up. He knows how to do particles. So we're going to trust him to do the displays for us. Now one thing I want to go ahead and get off um, mention right now is you're only going to have like three types of targeters to work with. You're going to have at self, at target, and at pem, or I like to say players, entities, or mobs in radius. Those are going to be your big five, I guess, targeters, even though that's really three categories. But um, beyond that, of course, there's always so much more you can do with it. However, those are the uh, those are the three that you're pretty much always going to find yourself using. So let's go ahead and uh, let's check out here what we've got to work with. So we're going to type in effect particle, particle equals, and now I'm going to go ahead and take you to the site here. So when you're on the manual, you're going to scroll down to uh, skills here. And we're going to go to effects. Again, as you can see, there's there's a lot of different effects, but the main ones I'm focusing on is particles. As you can see, particles, particle atom, particle box, particle line, particle orbital, particle ring, particle sphere, particle tornado. There's so much that I literally cannot explain all of these. So we're going to go and just go into particles right now. And as you can see, even this has a lot to go on here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and look at the particle list. To do so, you're gonna click on the C here. And as you can see, there's a big list of particles here. Now this is where you're gonna to have to pay attention to what game mode you're in, because um, if you're into the, if you're, if your Mythic Mobs version and your Minecraft version are in the latest updates, then all of these particles will be available to you. However, if you're still playing in like 1.13 or 1.12 even, for whatever reason you're playing 1.12 still, some of these will not be available to you, such as the suspended uh, and suspended death. Same with the bubble column and bubble pop, I believe. Uh, a lot of these just, they're very dependent on which game mode you are playing. So, if you scroll down, you're going to get a look and see what these particles do. Now, all of these particles react differently. I know I already said this before, but they react as you would see them in game. So for example, crit here, these are just falling particles. And I'll go ahead and just do that here. So we're gonna type in crit, amount equals 100, y equals one. Y is how high up or down on the target the particles will originate from. You get here you have HS or horizontal, uh, horizontal spread. I'm gonna set that to 0 0.1. VS equals vertical spread and then speed which is pretty much how fast particles fly. Um, 
This is going to be dependent on what particle types you're using. If you're using clouds, this will cause them to fly way off. If you're using stationary particles, such as red dust and other things like that, uh, speed is unnecessary as it will not cause them to move in any sort of way that they don't move in game. So now one thing I want to get off my chest here, um, 0 0.1 is going to be your best friend. You're always going to want to start off with this number. Sometimes this will be the perfect number to start off with or to keep even, but um, yeah. 0.1 is going to be your best friend. Because particles react differently depending on what you type, you always want to start off small like this. You can slowly change it as you go. 0.2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 1 even. But we're not going to do that right now and I'm going to show you why. So here we're going to go ahead and reload. Uh, I just realized I don't have a thing for him. So at self uh, on, on timer 5. So we're looking at our syntax here. Nothing looks wrong, so... Let's go ahead and make sure we typed in our thing correctly. Now, this brings up a very good point. These names will not always be the same. If you're running 1.12, you're going to have a different particle name. Here is 1.13 plus, crit underscore magic. If you're running 1.12, you're going to look for a column on the side here that says 1.12 name, and here you can see it's called Magic Crit instead. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to this one since the other one doesn't seem to be working at the moment. So particles, particle equals crit magic. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bump these up a little bit too just in case we just can't see them. And let's go ahead and look. Hmm, this is very odd. Oh, okay. My apologies. So, uh, make sure you type in this correctly. Effect particles with an S. If you just have particle, it will not work. Now let's do it. Yeah, there we go. So as you can see, these are very specific particles. They just fall. That's what their animation is. So if I were to type the speed up to like, I don't know, one, because one is actually 100% and reload, you can see they start to fly out, which it gets a little crazy, but you can see they don't fly too far before disappearing. However, if I were to switch this to uh, just, just crit. Okay, so they still fly the same. Now, we're gonna get really crazy though. We're gonna switch it to cloud and check this out. Look at that. That's wild. That's really, really, really far. So this is why I recommend you start off with a setting of 0.1. You can increase it as you go, but this will at least allow you to get a foothold on what you want to do. Because as you can see, this is a lot of cloud, but yet this is what 0.1 is. This is what 0.1 speed looks like. That's a huge difference, and yet here if I do like, uh, I don't know, red dust, you can see it doesn't go anywhere at all. It just blinks, kind of moves, and then fades. If I set this up to 1, you will not really see any sort of difference. So I switched it to 1, and as you can see, it's not shooting off anywhere. All particles react differently, so it's a very important thing to keep in mind. We're going to go ahead and jump on over to particle, uh, particle Sphere now, because it's slightly different. Most particles will always have the same attributes, amount, y, horizontal spread, vertical spread, and speed. Uh, these ones vary. If you're doing like particle ring and particle line, they'll still be there. However, they um, they will probably throw off what you're going for, so I don't really recommend using them in that case. So here I'm just going to go and delete it. We're going to switch Y to 0 0.5. Now we're going to play with a different thing, in, uh, which is radius. So radius equals 3. If we switch that over now, as you can see, it's creating a sphere of particles. It's very different from what we were just saying a minute ago. And you can change this up as much as you want. You can change it to like 200, a radius of 2. This will make it look more enclosed and a lot, you know, a lot stronger of a shield. It's not actually a shield, but it kind of looks like one. So we're just going to go ahead and go with that. Uh, of course, with everything, you can change what type you want it to be. We can switch it to crit as well. 
So if we do this, it's not as it's not as nice looking. It's just kind of a funky looking dancing particle thing going on here. But after this, sorry, I keep doing that. We're gonna go ahead and switch to particle ring. Now, one thing I noticed with particle ring, uh, you cannot uh, abbreviate. I don't know why this is, but if you abbreviate, uh, a lot of the times it does not work. It may have been fixed, but as far as I know, well, I don't. So we're, we're gonna do here, we're gonna do amount equals one. This is gonna be amount per point, and I will explain that in just a second. Why that stays the same, radius stays the same, but we're gonna bump this up to five. And then we're gonna do points equals uh, 32. Make sure you have points typed out here. This is very important. If you just have P for some odd reason, it doesn't always work. So make sure you type in points entirely. Now let's go ahead and reload it here. And this is what a particle ring looks like, ladies and gentlemen. It's simply, well, literally that, just a ring of particles. So if I put speed up on it, I don't think it does anything too extraordinary. No, it just kind of makes it fly everywhere. So nothing, nothing really crazy. I believe you can actually switch one thing though. If you switch like horizontal spread to equals 0 0.1, wait, no, equals zero, vertical spread equals 0 0.1. It might have a cool effect if I remember correctly. Okay, I don't remember correctly. There was, there was a cool way I figured out to make them just go straight up in the air, but I don't remember anymore. But that's okay. So, um, let's see. Last is particle line. That's gonna be the last one I'm covering here. And it's pretty much, um, it has the same properties as particle ring. The only thing that's gonna be different is you're not gonna have a radius. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that. Uh, your Y value, here you can switch a couple different things. You could do like target Y offset uh, equals 0 0.2. So it'll show there. I believe there's a thing called from eyes. Let me go ahead and check just to make sure. So we're gonna go ahead and go back. Particle line. Oh, sorry, from origin, okay. So from origin, which I'm not really sure what that does because uh, as far as I know, it's always, you know, from origin. So, it, but it's an option though. I, I don't know, it's probably used with more complicated mechanics. But here, as you can see, you can have your starting Y offset. So if you want it like, um, we're gonna go ahead and switch this over to at players and radius are equals 30, I guess. I'm gonna reload. As you can see, he's kind of shooting me with these flames. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna turn off the speed here. And then same with the vertical spread. I don't want that. So we're gonna go ahead and reload that. There we go. Now it's just a line of fire. So what we can do is why do I keep minimizing that? We're gonna do starting Y offset, which I believe one or zero point seven five is roughly where the eyes are, if I'm not mistaken. Never mind, that's uh, that's inappropriate. We're gonna go and move on from that. One point seven five has to be the winner. Yeah, there we go. So that's like roughly where the eyes are. It's gonna vary depending on what mob you use, of course, because you know, some mobs are taller than others, but this is roughly where it is. And if you do, uh, let's see, what was it? Target Y offset, YO equals 0 0.5. And we reload. He's gonna, yeah, he's not really aiming any higher at me. TYO. Maybe I already have it in, a, in the string somewhere. Let's see. Flame amount. Uh, from origin. Oh, you know what? I think that's uh, I think that's why is this right here. So if we go ahead and do that, sorry, my offset, target my offset. We'll uh, we'll see if this works. Doesn't seem to be changing anything, but I don't know. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much the gist of particles. I know that was really bland and uh, you know very quick as he's like laser beaming my feet off. Um, all I can really say is just take a look at the manual. There's so much you can do, and almost all the particles can be referred back to this particle here. Uh, particle, material, amount, horizontal spread, vertical spread, Y offset, view distance, and color. Now that's one more thing. Actually, two more quick things I wanna cover real quick. Sorry about this. So we're gonna go into red dust. Um, points, 
let's see. Actually, we're just going to go ahead and erase all this real quick. Because there's one more thing I want to show you, or two more things. So we're going to go ahead and switch this to amount 100. What's really cool is if you have red dust as your particle, or magic, I think, a spell probably. Let's see. It was one of these ones, I know that much. It's here somewhere, promise. Maybe just called, ah, here it is, spell, okay. So if you have spell, you can also change the color of it. Maybe it's spell mod. One of these two you can change the color of. So it's really cool, but you can also change the color of redstone or red dust, I mean. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna do color equals hashtag. Let's see, what color do we wanna do? We're gonna do blue, so 0, 0, 0, 0 FF. Okay, so with that, uh, horizontal spread equals 0 0.3. Vertical spread equals 0 0.3, y equals 0 0.5. Uh, we're gonna switch this to at self. Okay, and let's see what happens. As you can see, he has a little blue cloud of dust going about him right now. I don't know why it's not really any, I mean, oh yeah, 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 okay, so. Um, Y equals one. Okay, so now I got it down. Y, one is halfway up the model and two is all the way up the model. That explains a lot. Okay, so yeah, look at this. Now he's got a blue thing of dust around him and you can switch it to any color you want, but it does have to be in hex code format like this. Otherwise it will not work. If you want a good website to use, just type in color hex uh, in the Google search bar or whatever you use and look up colorhex.com. There's a really cool list of uh, different colors here. You can type in a name such as like red. As you can see, it came up here. If I click on it, we're gonna go ahead and hit choose, enter. And here you can get different shades, different tints, and different colors that work well with red as well as a bunch of other things. So if you ever need a good place to look up colors, colorhex.com. I will have a link to that in the description below. Um, highly recommended. That's what I use for all of my color coding for my effects. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and switch it to green. So 00FF00, and you'll be able to see it is now green. In case you guys are wondering how nerdy enough to know that, it's because it's uh, red, the first two colors, green, the second two, and blue, the third two. So now there's one more material I wanna cover. This is called block crack. Now, if you're running 1.12.2, for whatever reason, you're gonna have a different thing. It's gonna be done in a way, let me find it here. Okay, so here back in the day, in 1.12 or lower, it would be block crack, and then your block ID, which would be like five example for oak wood, and then data, so if I set it to five underscore one, it would be spruce wood. Um, but in 1.13 and above, you're gonna type in block underscore crack, and then here you're gonna type in an extra thing called material equals spruce, uh, if I can spell it correctly, planks. Here we need to delete the color because this does not apply anymore. And then we're gonna go and reload. And as you can see, he's dropping wood particles. Now that's all I have for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, it was a pretty bland tutorial, but I tried to cover as much as I possibly could. There's so much to cover with particles that I really can't tell you any specific way to do something. You just have to play around with it a bunch. Of course, we can always have answers for small questions. However, if you're asking something really complicated, uh, that's just something you're gonna have to play around with yourself and test because otherwise, you're gonna have a long road ahead of you. But, you know, Without further ado, uh, cross your fingers. I hope uh, that I find my lab again because I have no idea where I went. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.